one of the nation's most recognized buildings. All entry or exit is permitted at this time in any building of the Capitol complex. Attacked for the second time this year. U.S. Capitol Police Officer William Evans died last week when an attacker slammed his car into a concrete barrier constructed to protect the U.S. Capitol after the September 11th terrorist attacks. So what worked was the fact that the vehicle was stopped, the intruder's access was limited, and the police force did respond in a way that neutralized the threat to those on the Capitol Hill. But that attack comes less than three months after another U.S. Capitol police officer lost his life during the January 6 riot by pro-Trump supporters attempting to prevent Congress's certification of Joe Biden's presidential election victory, raising new questions about protecting the nation's lawmakers. The levels, you know, for the, what the mission is of the Capitol Police Force are quite low. It's, you know, about 2,300 people, 2,000 officers, about 300 um, civilians for a mission that is extraordinarily wide and large. After the riot, thousands of U.S. National Guard troops and two rings of heavy-duty fencing boosted security around the Capitol changing what had once been the most accessible of all U.S. government buildings. Democracy is supposed to be about open government. And if you have all of this fencing and all of these barricades around the Capitol, then it suggests that the government isn't open. A security review released last month by retired Lieutenant General Russell Honore recommended permanent mobile fencing and a mounted guard around the Capitol. Congressman Tim Ryan heads the panel that oversees the U.S. Capitol Police. We can't get too far ahead of ourselves without knowing that we have the ability uh, to protect the Capitol, to harden the Capitol, to do all the things that are in General Honore's report. Uh, and so we'll be we'll be looking at this and, and, you know, we have to see exactly how this went down. Fencing around the U.S. Capitol has sparked a fierce debate over accessibility to the People's House of Government. Democratic lawmakers favor enhanced security procedures, while Republicans argue the fencing should come down entirely. Analysts say that debate speaks to continuing partisan divisions over the results of the 2020 election and the upheaval that followed. The visuals of that uh, really indicate that something different is going on in the United States now. The January 6 riot was the worst attack on the U.S. Capitol in two centuries and is expected to receive a full congressional overview this year. Catherine Gibson, VOA News, Washington.